Hello and welcome to Kosh Academy. Unwinding the Kosh of your knowledge. Many a times we come across a scenario where we need to verify if a particular drop down has alphabetically sorted values. Thanks to automation, which makes it really easy in case of a drop down having large number of values. In this video, we'll see how to verify if a drop down has alphabetically ordered or sorted values using Transcendent Stroska. We have considered an example of contact page of tricentis.com. Here we have our country drop down. Let's verify if its values are alphabetically ordered. Before we actually begin with automation, let's plan our approach to achieve this. Let's take an example here. Consider we have three drop-down values as x, y, and z. So the total drop-down values are three here. Now, in order to verify if the list is all alphabetically sorted, we'll need to compare x with y and then y with z. So x should be less than y, y should be less than z. So the comparison happens here twice. In general, for n number of drop-down values, the comparison count will be n minus 1. So the step 1 here is to get the total number of drop-down values. Before we proceed, we should have the count of total number of drop-down values. Let's say we have total number of drop-down values as n and you have to store this count. So in Tosca, use the result count to get the total number of drop-down values. We already have a video for this one. Use a buffer to store the count. Step two is to store all the drop down values for comparison. In order to compare one value with the next one, we'll need to store them all in two different entities to perform the comparison. So in Tosca, we can make use of buffers to save the previous and the next values differently. To store the next value, we can make use of math function along with repetition property to buffer. We'll see this in more detail during our practical implementation. Step 3 is to perform the comparison. Perform comparison to verify if a previous value is less than the next one. Let's say we have stored a previous value in buffer B1 and the next value in buffer B2. Perform the operation to verify if B1 is less than B2. In Tosca, we have a standard module, T-Box Evaluation Tool, which we can use to perform the comparison. Step 4 is to repeat step 2 and 3 for all the drop-down values. Now we have to repeat the step 2 and 3 unless and until we traverse the complete drop-down. So, we have to repeat these steps for n minus 1 times so that all the values in the drop-down are compared. In Tosca, we can make use of repetition property at the folder level to achieve this. Now, let's do it. I have already created a module by scanning the country drop-down so this is the module. I have added a generic list item to the country dropdown so that we can make use of this in the test step. So here I have already created a test case and now we'll go through this one by one. So as per our step one, we should get the total number of dropdown values. So here for the generic list item, I'm using result count and the buffer name is total values. So here I'm collecting the total number of drop-down values. Let's give it a run to check. So this is passed. We have total number of values as 243. As per our step 
do, we have to buffer all the values. So in order to buffer all the values, I have used the same module again. Now here, we have to buffer the previous value and the next one. So I have used the repetition property in order to select the first value over here. As repetition always begins with one, it will select the first value and store it in buffer two. In order to select the next value, we have to add repetition plus one. In order to perform this addition, we can make use of math function. So for selecting this second value, I have used math repetition plus one. So this will select the next value, which is stored in B2. As per third step, we have to compare the two values stored in buffer B1 and B2. So I have added the box evaluation tool over here. In the expression, I have provided this expression to check if value B1 is less than B2. And the action mode is set to verify. Now, as per our step 4, we have to repeat this unless and until we traverse the complete drop down. And the value of it is set to repetition n minus 1. So, here we have the buffer as total values minus 1. we do it now let's run this test case in scratch book this will go on storing the drop down values one by one and comparing them and it will happen for all the 243 drop down values so the repetition will take place 242 times. So this will certainly take a longer duration. But we can always pause the execution and see the results in the meanwhile. So I'll let it run for some time and then we'll pause and see the results. Let's take a pause here. So as we have already seen, the total number of values are 243. Next, the repetition will begin with 1. So first we have a blank value in the country dropdown. I will show you. First value is blank and the next is United States. So in B1, a blank value is stored and B2, it should be United States. Okay. Then the comparison will take place. Toskite is evaluating to true. We'll take an example for the next repetition. So for the next time, what will happen is United States will be compared with its next value, which is Afghanistan. So let's verify the results here. So B1 is now United States and B2 is now Afghanistan. And as United States is not less than Afghanistan, this is going to fail, which is as expected. United States less than Afghanistan evaluated to false. I hope this video helps you. Thank you.